Hi, doing a short video here of all my pythons together. I have three pythons. Uh, the bottom one here is an 8 inch blue. This was made in the 80s. It has a little bit of wear on the front near the barrel and also on the cylinder, but it's still a very tight gun. Uh, the barrel is in very good condition. I don't think it's been shot very much. It has the wood finger groove grips on it. I bought this at a Cabela's store in Gonzales, Louisiana and had it shipped to my home state store. This was still in the condition it's in going for a little over a thousand dollars. The next one up is a four inch nickel python. Uh, came from the factory with rubber grips, Colt rubber grips. Uh, this gun here has never been fired. I still have the original box and all the paperwork that goes with it. Uh, the top one here is my 3 inch nickel. This is the one of 23 produced by Colt in between 1982 and 1983. I have the factory letter of authenticity that states that this gun is one of 23 guns made in this nickel 3 inch configuration. There was some California Combat Magnums that were produced. This is not a California Combat Magnum. This is the original one of 23 made. Uh, some other guns were made that were stuck with a 3 inch barrel converted. So unless you had the factory letter that states its authenticity through the serial number, that's what you need to have. If you're out there collecting these guns, you need to have an authenticity letter just like any other company, whether it be Browning or Smith & Wesson or whoever with these older firearms like this. You need a letter of authenticity so that when you go to sell that gun, you can show someone who's ever buying it that, here you go, here's a letter of authenticity from Colt or Browning or Smith & Wesson that states that this gun is what they say it is. So this is a very high priced gun. I've seen one on gunbroker.com about two years back. Uh, it sold for in the neighborhood of $14,000 and that was back I think in 2000. Eight. But a very nice collectible gun. I like it a lot. Like I said, that's never been fired. And this one's never been fired. I don't have the factory letter for this gun yet, but I'm going to get one. Like I said, I just want to give everybody a little view here of all three of them. Very nice Colt Python firearms. Uh, started collecting them a couple of years ago. Uh, hope to get a few more. Uh, there's a gun site called Guns International. You go on there and you can find a lot of them on there. But they keep going up in price every day. Thanks.